Arizona State Troopers Association says numbers are down, resources are stretched thin. And they are calling on the legislature and the governor to step in and try to fix this problem. Fox 10's Irene Snyder joins us live now with more. John and Christina, the shortage has been going on for quite a while now. According to the State Troopers Association, they've been losing about 100 troopers per year for the past three years. They're now turning their attention to trying to get higher incomes for those troopers. The Arizona State Troopers Association is asking the legislature for a 12% pay increase for troopers. This comes amid what the association president Jeff Hawkins is calling a critical shortage of troopers. He believes this is the direct result of the pay discrepancy for troopers compared to other law enforcement agencies. Uh, we release a pay study every year to the legislature it's required. And this last one, we were at 15% for sworn and almost 23% behind market for our professional staff. According to the Department for Public Safety, there are in total 280 vacancies across the state. In Phoenix alone, there are 90 vacancies. Hawkins says that leaves some areas with no DPS coverage at times. He says the problem has recently gotten worse as housing prices have skyrocketed this year and the trooper income is just not cutting it. If I'm a new guy and I send you to Wickenburg or Sedona or Flagstaff, the cost of living there is really expensive. And for the person that makes the least amount of money, it makes it very difficult for them and it makes it difficult to retain them. Hawkins explains the letter they sent to the legislature asking for the pay increase has been signed by 19 lawmakers. He says the budget will ultimately depend on Governor Ducey. We're hoping that we're able to get the 12% that we've asked for and to um, put a recruiting plan together and try to get some folks in the door. And part of Governor Ducey's budget for the next fiscal year includes $7 million for trooper retention and recruitment. We have reached out to Governor Ducey's office and are waiting to hear back from him. Reporting live tonight in Phoenix, I'm Irene Snyder for Fox 10 News.